Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Superman Lois Season 2. Today we're going to be doing a Q&A video just before Season 2 premieres tomorrow night. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, yeah, Superman Lois comes out tomorrow night on the CW. It's its Season 2 premiere. It's going to be Episode 1, and Naomi is also premiering right after it. I plan on getting a Superman Lois review out sometime after the episode comes out, and then also I plan on Naomi if I get around to it. And if you guys are interested in seeing that review of Naomi, because I don't actually know how many people are interested in the show. But I'm really looking forward to specifically Superman Lois Season 2 because Season 1 was great. And I'm looking forward to seeing how they go around Season 2 and continuing what we had. And, you know, there is a Supergirl crossover happening in terms of one specific character showing up. I've got a feeling she may show up in Episode 1. We're going to have to wait and see when that does happen. But Lucy Lane is showing up from Supergirl on Superman and Lois this season, which is very, very exciting. And so this is a Q&A video, so you guys have sent in your questions. I just wanted to get, you know, one more video out before the season premieres to answer some of your burning questions before it comes out. So the first question comes from Annie on YouTube, who writes, How powered do you think Jordan will be in Superman and Lois Season 2? So we've talked about this for a while, but Jordan in Season 1, the whole storyline with him getting powers was about him kind of adjusting to being someone completely different and being powered, as Annie says. And although he isn't in control of his powers as good as Superman or Supergirl or anything, he's eventually going to get to that point. And the next logical step would definitely be to make him a actual superhero and give him a suit and he gets a name and everything like all the other superheroes. So definitely like one season is a long time to wait to build up someone as a hero and obviously he's younger so he kind of have that excuse of why it's taken a while and you know he went through a lot last season but I do think in season two yes Jordan is going to be powered and probably more powerful than ever as he continues to learn his powers and I do think at some point in the season he should get a superhero costume and officially be known as Superboy however I don't know and I haven't been told if that's going to happen that's just kind of my presumption Okay, so let's move on to the next question. This comes from Grape Lever on YouTube who asks, Do you believe John will gain powers this season, or at least a hint? So, John, in terms of Jonathan, I do think eventually he's going to get powers because at the end of the day, he is an alien, he's part alien, so he literally has Kryptonian DNA inside of him, so that power is there. And at some point it's going to come out. I think right now it's just dormant. And obviously in terms of storytelling, they're focusing more on Jordan. But I do think with a new season ahead of us, it will make sense to start teasing some changes in Jonathan. And maybe him eventually getting powers down the line. I'm not sure if it's going to happen this season. But yeah, we'll definitely get some hints. And as far as I know, Jonathan's story is going to still be pretty much the same in terms of what they've teased so far. But he's obviously going to have lots of different things going on, and we're going to find that out as the episodes go by. Okay, so the next question comes from Ambrose on YouTube who asks, Do you think Armageddon will have any ripple effects on Superman and Lois? But really, you can extend it to any shows on Earth Prime because last time Barry's Flashpoint swapped babies. Yeah, that was true. That was to do with Diggle. And so in regards to Armageddon and what happened, yes, the timeline was changed because Barry caused Armageddon so that he could go back in time. And, you know, that was because he ran so fast. And now the timeline has been changed and fixed as best as Barry can do it. So I do think there's going to be repercussions on The Flash. Obviously, they're dealing with that in the next episode, which is coming out in a couple of months. And it seems his changes aren't even the worst thing going on. In fact, his children from the future, Bart and Nora, have changed the timeline by time traveling around, as was mentioned in the last couple of episodes of Armageddon. So, in regards to Superman and Lois, and if there's going to be any ripple effects, I don't actually think that's going to be true, because I feel like Armageddon was contained mainly to the Flash, and if we go by what Superman and Lois was like in Season 1, they are a pretty contained show. 
And yes, they've said they're going to cross over more and they're going to reference more of the Arrowverse and actually fit it into the Arrowverse more in Season 2 and beyond. I still don't think they're going to be like, oh yeah, Armageddon just happened, so we're going to change like a bunch of things. No, in reality, I think it would make sense to have a couple of changes here and there because of the timeline changes, but I really don't think the writers and the showrunner behind Superman and Lois are going to take that much attention into what's actually going on on Earth Prime in the other shows at the same time. So that's just my opinion, and yes, it would make sense to do some changes, I don't think it's going to happen. Okay, so the next question comes from John Mark Peterson on YouTube, he's got two questions. The first one is this, do you think James Olsen or Martian Manhunter could guest star on the show anytime soon since they're both close to him in the comics and in Supergirl? So. Yeah, we've talked about this lots of times, at some point you're going to get Supergirl character crossovers, we obviously got crossovers on The Flash recently with Alex Danvers returning, and you had John Diggle returning from Arrow last season on Supergirl, and Superman Lois, so it would make sense that at some point Jimmy Olsen, aka James Olsen, would show up, considering that he is regarded as Superman's best friend, and yes, they haven't been acquainted for quite a long time because James moved to National City in Season 1 of Supergirl, however, they're still really good friends and they were friends for a long time, so it would make sense if they want Makar Brooks to come, and if he's free, I'm sure they would be down to do a James Olsen crossover. And personally, I would love that because I do love James and I love Makar, and what he did on Supergirl was great, and in regards to Martian Manhunter, yeah, it would make sense, although they do have a kind of strange relationship in Supergirl because of the way that Jean kept some kryptonite in the past at the DEO, and obviously Superman didn't approve of that, and he has a kind of very strenuous relationship with pretty much anyone who holds kryptonite. But it would make complete sense if David Herwood was around and up in Vancouver that those characters would cross over, and I think it would be awesome to see Superman and Martian Manhunter flying around as superheroes for one of the first times actually, and I think it would be awesome. Okay, so John's second question is this, do you think Bizarro could be a villain for future seasons? I definitely think that is a possibility, we have seen iterations of Bizarro before in the Arrowverse, and in regards to Superman's version of Bizarro, that would be awesome because we haven't seen that yet, and so Bizarro is a huge thing in the Superman comics, and one by one as the seasons go by, they're going to be checking off Superman villains from the past, and obviously they can create new villains which is cool. I don't know who the villain is going to be for season 2, apparently there's going to be two main villains, one specifically for Superman and one for Lois, and they're going to kind of intertwine at some point and be both of their villains, that being for Clark and Lois as well. And so, I'm not going to say Bizarro is going to come this season, but yeah, definitely for future seasons there is always a possibility that he could show up and be one of the main villains. Okay, so let's move on. Malik Matthews on YouTube asks, A writer for Superman Lois said on Twitter, If you don't get to watch the season premiere, you should stay off Twitter because of a surprise character or characters. Do you have a hint of who it could be? Now, this is very interesting because... I did mention before who is showing up in the season. I don't know if the surprise character they referred to was Lucy Lane, but they're going to be showing up at some point, and that is a Supergirl crossover, and it's going to be a big deal when she first shows up. So that's one hint that we've got, and obviously we've seen photos before, but in regards to the first episode, what surprise character could it be? I'm not sure. I guess there's always the chance that maybe Melissa filmed a cameo and it was Supergirl, that would be the dream, however, I don't actually have any other hints apart from Lucy Lane showing up. Your guess is my best guess right now. Let's move on to the next question, this comes from GJM Rocker, who asks, Do you think they will mention Kara at all this season since she revealed her identity in Supergirl? It would make sense if they referred to Kara again this season, because they barely did last season, I think that was like a deleted scene where there was a photo of Kara and Clark, but as I mentioned earlier, they tried to go very much so into their own world and kept it a little bit separate from the Arrowverse, which I think was probably a good idea for season 1, but it kind of annoyed people 
that they didn't mention Supergirl at all and they made so many changes. So, like, this season, it's nice that we're getting Lucy Lane. Hopefully, they mention her past with Supergirl. And so, it would make 100% sense to mention Kara at some point, especially when Lucy shows up. But in regards to Kara at the end of Supergirl revealing her identity, yeah, it would make sense to refer to that. But like I said, with the Armageddon stuff, I really don't think the writers behind Superman and Lois are going to pay much attention to the other events from the other shows because they would have had to watch the show or have been fed information early on in order to refer to the events of Supergirl's final season. So I'm going to say there is probably going to be a couple of references to Kara this season, but I don't think it's going to be specifically about anything she did at the end of the season. Okay, so let's move on to the final question. This comes from Victor D. Chinchilla on YouTube who asks, Do you feel the show needs a cast member from Supergirl or is it best to leave it alone? So we refer to a couple of Supergirl cast members and characters in this video, but in regards to them actually needing to show up, yeah, I think at some point you're gonna have to have like some sort of character who sticks around for a while. I think it would make sense, so that's why I'm very happy to see Lucy Lane showing up. Number one, it's been a long time since we've seen her, but it does properly link everything back into the Arrowverse and back to Supergirl. And I feel that it's important because at the end of the day, Superman and Lois is a Supergirl spin-off. And so I think it's not best to leave it alone. I think it's best to occasionally reference and to have some characters show up because they are set in the same world and none of these characters have actually disappeared or died. Like Supergirl is still in National City right now and she's a superhero fighting crime just like Superman is in Smallville and Metropolis. But yeah, that's my answer. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. That pretty much does it. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It really helps out the channel. Also, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And remember, Superman Lower Season 2, Episode 1 is premiering tomorrow night at 8, 7 central on The CW. And it's going to be sticking week by week at that same time slot. And we're going to be reviewing it straight away after the episode airs every week. And also remember that Naomi Season 1 premieres after Superman Lois. And we'll be sure to make some videos on Naomi as the episodes go by. But if you're really interested, please be sure to comment below. Do you really want to see Naomi coverage? And I'll gauge if I should or not. But for now, please be sure to click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.